Columbia University, where protesters unfurled a banner reading Hins Hall, symbolically renaming a building for a six-year-old Palestinian child killed in Gaza by the Israeli military. Protesters were told block the entrance with tables, linked arms to form a barricade and chanted pro-Palestinian slogans. The mayor Eric Adams and city police officials have said that this Hamilton Hall takeover was instigated by outside agitators who lack any affiliation with Colombia and are known to law enforcement for provoking lawlessness. But a day earlier, the university actually said it had begun suspending students who defied a deadline for vacating a tent camp that has become a focal point for dozens of student demonstrations around the US expressing opposition to Israel's war in Gaza. Joining us for a quick comment on the current matters unfolding at Columbia University, Nish Acharya, advisor to the Biden administration, also former director of innovation and entrepreneurship for President Obama. Thank you so much, Mr. Acharya, for joining us. You've seen the dramatic scenes play out outside Hamilton Hall. The students, end of the day, are demanding divestment from Israel and the right to stand up for what they believe is correct, free speech. Is that unjustified? So I think we're seeing where that line is actually blurring. So in the United States, there's a long history of student protests at universities. And in fact, it was really an important part of the civil rights movement in the 60s, uh, the fight against apartheid in the 1980s. Uh, and it, earlier this week, the students uh, asking for a real look at hard, hard look at policy was totally justified. Uh, but what we're seeing now is external agendas coming into place. And as Columbia has said, external actors who are entering and actually taking the place of the students. So I, I think it's fair for the students to protest, uh, but it's also fair for Columbia to uh, want to make sure that it maintains control and safety of its universities. And it's a very difficult situation. Uh, the Columbia situation is actually pretty clear, but a lot of other universities, I think there's a lot of concern about trampling student rights while also maintaining safety. Right, but you, Mr. Acharya, as far as the latest CNN poll is concerned, Biden's worst issue approval rating for his handling of the war between Israel, Israel and Hamas, I beg your pardon, yields a 71% disapproval, and that actually includes an 81% disapproval mark among those younger than 35. The young voters seem to be a big problem for the Democrats, but could this spiral into a worse situation for the president? No, I don't think so. And I, I haven't seen that poll. I've actually seen polls that are the opposite, that uh, people understand that the president is in a difficult this situation. This is the one that's conducted by SSRS. No, that's fine. I'm sure the poll is there. I'm saying there's other polls that have shown the opposite as well. I think the, the issue is there's a war in place and nobody likes a war, particularly when you can't control the outcome. And in this case, uh, you know, there's concerns that it'll lead to U.S. involvement. Uh, it'll lead to further... Uh, escalation, it'll lead to an invasion in Rafah. So there's real concern among young people in America. But I think what's the alternative? I think uh, for young people, when they start getting serious about who they consider, whether it's Biden or an alternative, uh, they'll certainly look at it and say, well, you know, President Biden is trying his best for a ceasefire, uh, whereas there's other candidates who, would, uh, who wouldn't even bother with a ceasefire, who would allow uh, you know, uh, other regimes to have a larger say or escalate with nuclear weapons or things like that. So I understand the frustration that many young voters have, but I think when they look at the alternatives, uh, I think the uh, most of them will come back to Biden. And historically, young voters have voted, you know, well over 55, 60 percent for the Democratic candidate uh, for reasons. And, and that's the reason why. Well, Nisha Chaya, thank you so much for joining us for that quick comment on the World 24-7 on the NDTV network.